Hi, this is Blake with Boulevard Home. We are here to talk about microwaves today. What you shouldn't put in your microwave. Today we're gonna to test some of those theories. We're gonna talk about all these different things we have laid out here and we'll give some demonstrations and show you what can happen. So as we're gonna be testing this today, we're gonna to be following some safety procedures. These are things we don't recommend you do at home. This is just for demonstration purposes for you. All right, so with microwaves, we have a lot of different things. Now this is a smaller microwave. It's not a really big one, but this will work for our demonstration purposes, what we're gonna show you today. I have a lot of times where people put a lot of things in microwave. They say, well, you can't put this in there. You can't put that in there, you know, especially like aluminum foil. Well, actually you can put aluminum foil in a microwave, believe it or not, but it's not recommended for, for several different purposes, but we'll get into that in a minute. Metal spoon. Uh, sometimes that can be arcing to a few things. We have crayons. I know you say crayons, yeah. Well, I had a neighbor that decided they wanted to do arts and crafts. They decided to melt crayons in their microwave. So we're gonna talk about why we don't melt crayons in your microwave. And then we also have, you know, your nice takeout containers, like when you go to Chili's and you take them home and you put them in your fridge, you put your leftovers in and say, oh, I'm gonna warm this up the next day and put this in there. Well, We'll explain to you why you shouldn't be doing that. And then also we're gonna talk about superheating of water. Now, there has been a theory out there that when you overheat water in a microwave that it can, it can basically erupt like a volcano, which it can, um, but there has to be certain situations that that will happen and we're gonna demonstrate that here. We'll just kind of go through piece by piece at this point. When we're talking about stuff in there, people say, well, gosh, my microwave came with a metal rack. Yeah, it did come with a metal rack and yeah, it does work in there, but as long as you have enough food density that the microwave energy that's being generated by your microwave is absorbing in the food, it's not gonna necessarily arc to the metal. Where we have arcing to metals, where we have curved surfaces, bent surfaces, crinkle surfaces, then the microwave energy has to take and disperse its energy so it will, it will arc across things. So if you just take a piece of aluminum foil and you lay it flat, Flat in there, is it gonna arc to it? No. If I take it and crumple it up, is it gonna arc to it? Absolutely. But the other thing about aluminum foil is when you have it in there, it reflects a lot of the heat away from your food. So basically it takes three and four times longer. Why you put aluminum foil in there? I don't know. Okay, now we're gonna talk about silverware and putting silverware in your microwave. If you look at the spoon, it has a bunch of like little decorative pieces all along the way. More than likely it is gonna start arcing along these edges, but generally out here, it shouldn't be arcing a whole lot. But this is the same reason why we don't put this in there because you can cause this to arc and spark and, and you know, get hot. And so when you reach and grab it, you do burn yourself, or it can do uh, feedback damage to the magnetron tube because we are sparking its metal. So let's give this a shot. Well, in this instance, this did not do anything, but let's measure how hot this spoon is. That spoon is 128 degrees, 129 degrees. Pretty hot. If you reach in there and grab it, you're definitely gonna burn yourself. I mean, that's about as hot as your water heater is, but that's pretty hot. So, so this is why we don't put it in there because as you can just see, I dropped it because I'm dumb and grabbed it with my bare hands. Don't put utensils in there, especially forks because forks have those little tines. We also have cups. This has decorative inlay in it. And this decorative inlay in this, it's a metal that they put in the glass. Now with these, depending on the wattage of the microwave and how strong they are, uh, you can get arcing across these, but with these metal bands in here, this is gonna get super hot. With plates and, and stuff that you put in a microwave, there are things with those that they say that they are microwave safe. Are they necessarily microwave safe? Well, I have a great story from a customer of mine that lived up the street from me. He bought a new microwave and remodeling his house, bought some new dishware for his new home. And his complaint was his oatmeal wasn't cooking. Well, I got up there and I thought, well, this is kind of a weird complaint, you know, oatmeal not cooking. Whoa. So I get up there and I said, so is your microwave not working? He's like, no, it's working just fine. He says, but my oatmeal doesn't cook right. I'm like, okay, this guy has got to be insane. So I checked the microwave out and everything's working just like it should. And then I said, okay, well, why don't you make me some oatmeal? And so, he got his bowl out and he put his oatmeal stuff in there and his milk and he went and put it in the microwave. When it was done, I reached in there and grabbed the bowl. Now the bowl was burning hot. I mean, it was literally, I could barely touch it hot. And when I stuck my finger down inside the oatmeal, it was cold. Well, that's because the type of dishes that he was using, even though they said they were microwave safe, they were not because that dish was absorbing more energy than what the food was. So I said, well, do you have an old dish you used to cook this in? So he got out an older bowl and I said, let's prepare it the same way. And he did. And lo and behold, the oatmeal came out perfect. 
So I said, well, it's not your microwave. So we got out a mug and we did the same thing. Well, we got that thing so the water was boiling and that cup was so hot you could barely touch it, but the water was just barely boiling. So be mindful of that. Things you shouldn't put in your microwave just because it says it's microwave safe. It does not mean it's microwave safe, but we're gonna test this and see what it does. Okay, so there's 30 seconds of this heating up. So we're going to gently remove this. That ring right there, the outer ring is 134 degrees. Right beneath it where there's not the metal ring, it's 92 degrees. The water inside of this is 98 degrees. Big difference. So that metal ring on there, just because it's there is so hot, that you will definitely burn yourself. So be mindful when you're putting this stuff in there that it does get hot if you can burn yourself. So if you can, please try to avoid using this type of dishes in your microwave. As a general rule of thumb, if you're grabbing your dish and it's hotter than the food is, don't use it. Use a different material, use Corel or use glass. Now paper towels are just fine to put in, but be mindful of cardboards uh, and styrofoam, stuff like that. Be mindful not to be using that in your microwave. So now let's talk about these nice little take home containers of styrofoam. Well, is styrofoam safe to put in a microwave? There are different types of styrofoam. The higher grades of styrofoam, they're okay to put in there. When you leave your food in there, you're thinking, you know what a hassle this is? When I get home, you're like, you know, I don't wanna make dinner. I just wanna throw something in the microwave. Look, I went out to eat. This is my nice take home box. I'm gonna take this. I don't wanna put it on a plate because I'm too lazy to put on a plate because then I have to wash the plate and then I have to put it in my dishwasher and if my dishwasher isn't working correctly or not washing correctly, then you watch a previous video that I did. But anyhow, you take this and then you put it in and you say, I'm just gonna throw this in here. Just like any styrofoam, you get it hot enough, it starts to melt and starts to give off odors. Chemicals are gonna burn off and it's gonna melt into your food and then you're gonna be saying, mm, this is yummy, I'm gonna sit down with my fork and eat this. So we don't recommend you put this in there, but we're gonna turn this on long enough in here to show you what it can do to this once it gets too hot. All right, so we've been having this go a little bit over a minute now. We're gonna take a look at the styrofoam here. The styrofoam itself isn't too hot, but if you look in there, it's starting to, on the inside of it here, it's starting to show up here and it's starting to melt. And you can see where it's starting to melt on the inside of this. And you're gonna say, well, gosh, you don't have any food in there. Of course it's gonna melt. No, it doesn't matter because the microwave energy is not picky. This is why you don't put this in there because this is not safe to ingest and you do not wanna be ingesting this. Don't recommend you put this in the microwave. They will work, but again, I don't recommend it. For this test, we're gonna talk about superheating water. Now, what superheating water is, is basically heating the water past the boiling point, but you don't see it boil. Tap water has minerals in it, so it will boil. But there are cases where you have distilled water. Distilled water doesn't have the minerals, so you won't see it boil. I'm gonna be saying, well, why would I be using distilled water? I use regular tap water, I get that. But not everybody uses that water, or they have to use distilled water for some purpose that they have to heat it up. So we're gonna take uh, two mugs that are exactly the same. We're gonna put one with regular water, some with, with uh, distilled water. We're gonna mark it so we can tell the difference between the two. And then we're gonna heat them up to boiling and we'll show you what the results are after. So with the results on this, this is a smaller microwave and we couldn't get both of these cups basically up beyond the boiling point. So really couldn't show you the differences between them. And it's hard to show on camera, but there is actually a difference between them. When the spoon was dropped into the one with the distilled water, if you washed it, a bunch of bubbles just came kind of burst up the bottom. When you dropped the one with the minerals in it, it didn't do the same. So. I'm from the future, I guess, from the way we filmed the video because you can see we're in a different setting, different microwaves. We've done the microwave test. We've tried to get the erupting water. We've done that a couple different times and we've tried it on different microwaves. We haven't been able to duplicate it, but there are videos out there. So if you go on the interwebs and look under, you know, Mythbusters and erupting water, they have proven that it does work. There's some things saying that it won't happen under modern, with modern microwaves. I don't know if that's necessarily true or not, but what we can prove from the video is when we're boiling water that we can show that the water with minerals in it does boil. You always have that potential of superheating water so when you put something in it, it can erupt. Even though we can't d duplicate it right now, doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I would definitely heed the warnings of not doing it because this is something that can happen. So, the melting of the crayons. Everybody likes to do school projects and they like to take a box of crayons and make like all these little fun colors when they're going around. My neighbor's probably gonna kill me when they see this, but love you guys, but still. 
don't do this. They were taking all these crayons and throwing them and putting, putting them in a container and, and throwing them in the microwave. Well, yeah, they're gonna melt and they're gonna do all this nice stuff, but you kind of get a waxy mess in there. And then also uh, you can get it hot enough that it's gonna start melting into the microwave and causing some things happen you don't want to happen. So we'll kind of show you what the end result is. This is what happens when you melt micro when you melt crayons in your microwave. And it can cause fires because as you can see, it's just melting right through this. You can also see now that we've got this hot enough that this is what the containers do uh, from that also. So it makes a mess, sticks to everything, and guess what? This microwave is now dead. It runs, but it no longer heats. That's due to we've taken out the magnetron. That's why you don't put stuff like this in your microwave. In the short test, we have effectively killed this microwave. So anything that you use in the microwave that is not intended for, other than cooking food, is really what it's intended for, uh, you always run the risk of damaging the microwave. That comes from you know, doing crayons, uh, putting those rice bags that they put rice in to warm them up so they can throw them on, on their feet or in their bed or whatever, so it warms it up. That's really not what it's intended for. So there is always that chance that could happen. So just be mindful. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, please like and subscribe or put any comments below and we'll answer any ones we can.